Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Oh! <laughs> All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be doing a mod on this car, but before we do that, my buddy Jason, who you may remember, he's brought out his grandpa's GT500, and uh, we're about to go for a ride in that, and I'm super excited, so let's hop in. Wow, this uh, Can you get in here? This mailbox is cock-blocking me. <laughs> that is insane. Oh my gosh, dude, this is, these cars are terrifying. I'm gonna be wearing a mask because this is his grandpa's car and I'm gonna do my best to not spread my diseases. So this is the car that is just notorious for having too much power for its own good. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is the 2012 model you said? Yes. So in 2013, they made it even more ridiculous. Oh my God. At the stop sign, go straight through. There's a there's a road you can do a pull on. Stop. Are you gonna do a little pull right here? You said. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Not gonna do a full one, but. Where's oh it? my god. <laughs> Holy sh! Oh my god, dude. So, so that was 80. <laughs> Quoted zero to 60 of this is a little over three seconds. That's insane. Honestly, I kind of like the stock Ready, exhaust. Go. Holy s**t! 80. Oh my god! So that was 20 to 80. I love this GT500 model because they all came with stick shifts. <laughs> Dude, the supercharger wide is insane. <laughs> if this is my car, I'd be dead. <laughs> this thing is a monster, dude. Holy shit. That was 50. It does not feel like you're going as fast as you are. Yeah. Because it just does it so quick. Doesn't feel like you're going slow, though. All right, so my freaking heart is like pounding right now. That GT500 is crazy fast. I've never ridden in one, so thank you for that, Jason. You're welcome. I appreciate you. So now we're gonna we're gonna pull the slow car into the driveway and do a mod real quick, and then after that we're gonna go and get some pictures of both the cars. So it should be pretty good. I'm definitely louder. That is deadly. <laughs> so loud. But I'm not fast. I just make a lot of noise. That's it. Oof. Compensation. <laughs> Mod we're doing today is pretty simple. So I talked about it in a previous video, but we're just going to be taking the bumper off and swapping these turn signals out for a, uh, a smoked out lens. And I think it's going to look pretty sick. So I've got one of these cool angle screwdriver socket end things. So that way I can, I can actually get this bumper off without having to turn the wheel back and forth all the time. Work it. <laughs> Dang it, what the heck? All right, so I got those ones loosened. I'm gonna start the engine again. Turn the wheel to the other side. And this side actually only has two screws because I, oh, oh, okay. I was worried that this, this socket has reached its end. This side only has two. I had to do a little bit of modification because the last one was like stripped and I couldn't get the bolt out. You guys may remember that video. If you're a real one, you may have seen that. I don't have very many subscribers. <laughs> it's okay. It's quality of content. It's quality content. <laughs> and then, so what you do is to kind of pull this back. I think it would be a little bit easier if you raise the car up and take, ow, Jesus, and take the wheels off. But I don't do that because it's not necessary for this install. There we go. And then there's a couple bolts up in there. Casual. There's one. So then there's another one. Deep down in here, we need to be going left. I thought you were just showing my face. I think that this extension is actually killing my performance right now. It's like a cold air intake without a tune. Looking at you, Subaru owners. It's like a rite of passage for buying a Subaru, is you have to slap a cold air intake on it without a tune. The funny thing is, That's if, if you do that, you're not gonna get much out of it. No, you'll probably actually lose some performance because the engine's gonna be like, what is this? What's happening? Maybe run lean, honestly. We know the Subi boys always research 
heavily before they start plotting their cars. Exactly. I talk so much crap about Subaru owners, but honestly, I really want one. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. The new RX is so awesome. All right, so we didn't show it because it was literally just me like grunting and scraping my knuckles, but we got the, the bolts out. So there's two inside of the, uh, the fender that kind of hold the, the bumper onto the chassis. So I'm just going to repeat the process on that side and then we'll move on from there. How many cold starts can we put in one video? <laughs> My neighbors are gonna press charges. My theory, I learned this from TJ Hunt, by the way, but my theory is that as long as you drive respectfully, the cops will leave you alone. I also don't have a front license plate on my car and we're about to be like smoking out all these turn signals and the reflectors, which is technically illegal as well, but I don't drive like a freaking idiot. Don't watch my Snapchat story. <laughs> Snapchat story may contradict the previous statements. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer. Work it. Didn't know this channel was rated R. <laughs> oh, there's one. Hey, Caden, I thought you said this was going to be easy. It is easy. And I would hate to see what hard is. Don't spoil anything for the channel. We're, eventually, we're going to have some really hard installs on this car. Ooh, nice. Make the people come back for more. Exactly. Except I'm broke right now, so it's going to take a little bit of time. We got a couple bolts on the top here. Another one down here. Set it right there. Because I'm missing some of the pins. There we go. Oh, come here, you little demon. Why are these so tight? Who put these on last? Was it me? You. I think it was me. <laughs> That's always my go-to. Who did it last time? Because they're stupid. A lot of people are like, Kaden, use your power tools. First of all, I don't know if I can fit my impact vertically like this. And second, I like using my hand tools. So shut up. No, I use power tools sometimes. I used them on the last video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Oh yeah, I always forget to say that. Because, like, for me, the video hasn't actually been uploaded yet. But for them, the video probably came out, like, a month ago. Because I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> no, it probably came, like, came out, like, four or five days ago. I don't know. It depends on what the schoolwork looked like this week. That flow, though, I, I just gotta say. Oh my god, dude. It it's, is off and off. It is so bad. I need a haircut, but all the freaking barbers and stuff are still closed. Yeah, the beard is coming in too. Well, you can handle that. You can take care of that. Yeah, but uh, I can't shave it right now because my old roommate Owen and I are actually doing like a uh, beard challenge. <laughs> because we both bought one of those beard grooming kits where it has like a little wheel with spikes on it. Oh and my. you like, yeah. Okay, I think. Bumper should come off. I think there's a third bolt on this side. <laughs> ah, there is a third bolt, damn it. I always forget about that. That side over there is like missing a screw and a freaking bolt. But I can't really replace it because these are like nuts and it's missing the stud. So maybe I just need a new bumper. I don't know. Teaser. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever bolts are upside down, I always get my left and right mixed up. Yeah. I start tightening it. And I'm like, wait, I've been turning it the wrong way for 40 seconds. There's gonna be some of these little connectors here. Come plug that guy. These clips, dude, I hate these things. Are oh, those your lights? Yeah, there we go. Oh, I think it broke, great. Everything on this car is starting to break. Like it's reaching that age where like, just the little tiny plastic things are starting to crack. Oh yeah, here we go. Did you see that? Yeah, right here. Yeah. Got a little poop brown clip. Oh, that one just broke too. Fantastic. What the heck? Hey, at least it's even. Yeah, at least they're the same on both sides for once. Well, I got the bumper off, so we're fine. This is like the third or fourth time I've pulled this bumper off this car. And every time it gets a little sh so for the rest of this, we're going to be focusing on the bumper itself because we're going to be replacing these lenses. So it should be kind of exciting. I'm not exactly sure how they come off of here. Oh, okay. So you have to kind of squeeze these, get them through the housing. Uh, well, that was easy. That was... <laughs> Dang. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go get the new one. You left. You need a supercharger. You really do. I got the magic in me. Every time I touch a part of my car, it breaks. Dude, these are sick. Ooh, 
That's the wrong side. Hold on. <laughs> you want some bubble wrap, little boy? Oh! <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> God, predators thought that candy was how you get kids in your car. Bubble wrap would have gotten me for sure. Want to do a little side-by-side -side comparo? Yeah. Get a little thumbnail maybe? I don't know. Oh, you can actually see through this. You look great. I feel great. I hope it doesn't just get a bunch of water in there. Maybe you should do a little DIY seal with some electrical tape or something. I was thinking epoxy. Or that, you're gonna full an epoxy, yeah, yeah, that works too. It just seems weird to me. That it does seem weird. Does the old one have that? No, your old one doesn't have anything. Are there any instructions? Now might be a good time to look <laughs> at the instructions. No, we just like to full send. I mean, usually that's what I do, but I'm worried. All right, so we had to, uh, we had to put some sealant in these because we'd lost one of these little end caps, right? And then after that happened, I realized that they all had little trenches in them, so none of them were sealed off. So when you have lights on cars, they have to be sealed inside the housing, so that way they're watertight. If you don't have them watertight, then condensation can get inside of them. It just doesn't look good. It happened on my old headlights, and that's why I went back to stock. So now, what we're gonna do, I'm actually gonna put the new bulbs into these because it came with new bulbs, and they have a little orange housing around them, and I think that's because this is clear, and the lens itself isn't orange, so I think you actually do have to have the orange tinted bulbs. So that's okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in. Then we're gonna install the lenses, and then we'll put the bumper back on. See how she looks, she's gonna look good. So how long did our little ceiling job take? That was probably like a good 30 30 minutes, at least. At least. <laughs> right after Caden said, oh, this is easy. It was easy. Then it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't hard. It was just not the most direct. It was time consuming. Yeah. I'm gonna try my best not to touch the bulb. That was a little satisfying click. Mm -hmm. This little guy goes in that little trench there. Ooh, right side done. Honestly, the hardest part is taking the old ones out. You hear me snort? <laughs> oh, there we go. That one didn't even click. Those little ones are kind of, kind of tight. No comment. <laughs> no <laughs> comment. You're well, we just, we just waiting for it. If Brad were here, he would have said something. Wish you could have been here today. Maybe I should have invited him. I didn't even think about it. He's gonna watch this and be like, "Dude, what the heck? That one didn't click either. This side just sucks." <laughs> wow. This side didn't click <laughs> on side anything. Did nothing click. That's the look right there. She looks clean. Damn. That's pretty sleek, dude. I'm never 100% sure about anything, Jason. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but it's got like the orange light. That looks sick. Looks mean. That looks so awesome, dude. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's mean. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, so I just finished getting these blinkers installed. I think they look super awesome. The smoked lenses just came out way better than I even thought they were going to. And just getting rid of that stupid orange housing is honestly the best thing I think I've done to the front end of this car. This is the before, and that's the after. Oh my god. This is the most jerry-rigged thing it's ever. Oh, it's not jerry-rigged. It's a little jerry-rigged. Maybe a little janky. Dude, if this works, this is gonna be sick. I, I'm not, <laughs> we're not gonna haul. I'm just gonna be loud, so. Yeah, no, we're, we're just gonna do a nice, easy cruise over yeah, there. Yeah, it's literally like, it's like two miles, so. Okay, so Jason and I are gonna go out and get lunch. Woo! Then we're gonna take some pictures as well. So he's gonna follow me because he has a camera set up and we wanna do like some sound clips from the back of this car because it is insanely loud. <laughs> that freaking car is so sick. Ooh. All right, so we're pulling up to a straightaway. I'm gonna give him the juice.
All right, so Jason and I just went and got five guys, and we've got the, uh, the cars parked out here. The man, the myth, the legend doing his work. I brought the right lens this time. Right. Unlike last time. <laughs> yeah, I got I a pretty good lens. I feel like they could be a little closer. Getting you guys a little bit of behind the scenes for the Instagram. If you're not following me on there, be sure to check it out there, at Caden Odom. Also, check out his photography Instagram for sure, at Jason May Photos. I'll put them on the screen and I'll link them down in the description below. Yeah, that looks sick. Okay guys, so I actually finished editing this video about a week ago now. And I decided that um, with everything going on at the end of last week, I wasn't going to upload it. And then of course, I'm sure as you all know, things have just kind of been escalating since then. And the day that I'm recording this new outro that I'm, I've decided that I'm going to put in, um, to, it's actually Blackout Tuesday. If you don't know what that is, like if you're watching this sometime in the far future, just go ahead and look it up, like Blackout Tuesday, June 2020. You'll understand kind of the context of all of this. But because of that, I have decided to go ahead and upload this tomorrow. So if you're watching this on the day of release, it should be Wednesday, June 2nd. Sometimes I think that it can be kind of hard as a, as a content creator to keep pushing your own content when there's just so much else going on in the world. It can almost feel as though everything that I talk about on the channel is somewhat irrelevant. While that may be the case, I know that there's a lot of people out there that kind of need these sort of YouTube videos because for them it's something they're passionate about or maybe they enjoy watching YouTube as kind of like an escape. And so I feel as though it's almost like my duty to keep uploading these videos. And I, I do enjoy it, but at the same time, there is a reason why Blackout Tuesday has become a thing this year and I think it's an extremely important cause. So I wanna honor that by just delaying my upload another day. So I do apologize for the gap of time in between the uploads. That's going to wrap today's video up. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a like down below. Consider subscribing for more car content. And if you or anybody that you know just needs somebody to talk to, my DMs are always open. You can message me on Instagram or you can add me on Snapchat at Caden Odom. I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And I just want anybody to know I'm here for you and I support you guys. If you're going out to protest or you decide you want to protest, please be safe. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay safe.